Hi, I'm Helena and I love to sleep and drink coffee. Hi, I'm Lily, I have six fish and a brother. Hi, my name is Jack and I've got a dog. Coronavirus is affecting everyone in different ways. It has turned into a pandemic. Many people have been left isolated and on their own. These are pos- there are positives to it as well as the many negatives. These are extremely strange, perplexing and unpredictable times. With the mixed messages sent from the government, it's clear to see that we are living in very uncertain times. This can be rather distressing, especially when isolated. Even though there are many problems, there are ways to overcome it. What is isolation? Isolation is the process or fact of isolating or being isolated. This can cause extreme emotions and challenge people's limits. What causes us to feel isolated? Coronavirus, being distant to your close family, being distant to close friends, mental health conditions, losing a loved one or friend through death or relocation, fear of rejection from others or feeling feelings of being different or stigmatised by society. What is it like to feel isolated? This can cause feelings of stress or anxiety. You can develop a simple fear of other, of other people. You can form an eating habit that many people call comfort for eating or problems like eating disorders. The symptoms of coronavirus are high temperature. This means you feel hot to touch on your chest or back. A new continuous cough. This means coughing a lot more than an hour or three or more coughing episodes in 24 hours. If you usually have cough, it may be worse than usual. Most people infected with the COVID-19 virus will experience mild to moderate respiratory illness and, reco- and recover without requiring special treatment. More vulnerable people are older people and those with underlying medical problems like cardiovascular disease, diabetes, chronic respiratory disease and cancer. These people are likely to develop serious illness. The COVID-19 virus spreads primarily through droplets of saliva that are discharged from the nose when an infected person coughs or sneezes. So it is important that you also practice respiratory etiquette, for example, by coughing into a flexed elbow. The positives are you can spend more time with your family and pets as well as being able to do more DIY in the garden. You can also spend time in the sun, hopefully not getting sunburnt. There's been less pollution in places like China where where they have high pollution rates and more wildlife in Venice. There have been there have never been sightings of dolphins in the canal before. And this has now happened. The negatives are you can't go anywhere to see your friends or further away family. People being inside and without socialisation for long periods of time isn't good, and this can have a major impact on people's mental health. The rates of domestic abuse are on the rise as parents are together more often and can't get away due to coronavirus rules. Many people think of this as only physical abuse, but this can be psychological too and an increase in isolation. How is it affecting different people? For younger kids, through playing and other peer interactions, they develop social skills and a way of sense of mo- morality. This cannot happen due to social distancing, so we can protect the community from COVID-19. All parks have been closed, but schools have remained open for pupils whose parents are key workers. This is limiting their education. The effect on schools. Due to the current state of the country, students in year 11 have missed out on their GCSEs. This means they have limited qualifications based on their MEG and MOCs. Year 6 have missed their SATs and that will have a huge impact on their start in secondary school as they will have no guidance on where to be placed. Year 9 and 10 now have less time to complete their coursework and prepare for their GCSEs. This will have a huge impact as they will be less prepared. Living with a mental health condition can be hard enough on its own. Since lockdown has started, many people's mental state may have become worse and this could lead to people being more stressed and or anxious. This depends how how their mental health affects them as a person. It is important to add that this doesn't just include people with diagnosed mental health issues. Everyone has a mental health. There is a spectrum and not everyone's mental health affects them as much as others. People with mental health may experience panic attacks, depression, a feeling of helplessness or hopelessness, 
a feeling of despair and this will, will all be amplified by the stress of lockdown and being isolated. Mental health problems may lead to people self-harming, excessive drinking, doing drugs, refusing to eat or overeating slash comfy eating, becoming really angry or lashing out or just more than they normally would. They can find help from friends and family, which is more difficult at the moment, a GP or doctor, a psychiatrist or psychologist, organisations, for example, Mind and Samaritans, mental health services or medication if necessary. For the past two years, more than 450 elderly adults have gathered weekly for exercise classes, LED, by lots of different programmes. But with, P but with recent rules for the country, social distance, and in some cases self-isolate, the classes have been cancelled, leaving an already vulnerable population feeling even more isolated. Not many people think about how lockdown is affecting LGBTQ plus community, especially the elderly. LGBTQ plus seniors are twice as likely to live alone, according to SAGE. Services and advocacy for LGBT plus elders. Espe additionally, they are more likely to be single, more likely to be out of touch from their biological families, and they are less likely to have children. This means lots of them will be alone through lockdown. There are online websites and groups devoted to helping these elders avoid isolation. How to overcome isolation? Everyone will cope with the coronavirus differently. For example, the NHS are in hospitals helping to fight it, whereas others are at home self-isolating for their own safety. Working 12 or more hour shifts can be tiring for many of the NHS who are on the front line. This means they are more, they are more vulnerable. They are facing challenges every day. Thanks to them, we are one step closer to defeating the virus and coming out of isolation. On the other hand, others find it easier as they have many activities to do and find ways to pass find ways to pass the time. This, for example, students are being given online learning. This distracts them from the isolation. This is still helping to defeat the coronavirus. If they are following the social distance in regulation they are stopping the spread. Any child under the age of one should be doing physical activity several times a day. For those yet not yet mobile this includes at least 30 minutes of tummy time. Children under the ages of five. All young children should spend at least 180 minutes a day in a variety of types of physical activities. Three to four year old children should spend at least 60 minutes of this doing physical activity. Children and adolescents aged 5 to 17 years. All children and adolescents should do at least 60 minutes a day of moderate to vigorous intensity physical activity. Doing more than 60 minutes of phys physical activity daily will prove, provide additional health benefits. Adults over the age of 18. All adults should do at least 1 hour and 30 minutes of moderate intensity physical activity throughout the week or at least 75 minutes of vigorous intensity, physical activity throughout the week. In, in addition, all, older adults with poor mobility should do physical activity to enhance balance and pre prevent falls on three or more days of the week if possible. Many virtual sessions have been set up to combat the feeling of isolation throughout quarantine. These include Joe Wicks PE at 9am every morning for all ages. Throughout the week, this is said to make you feel much better. Even though many of us will not be able to go outside often, it's still important to dress nice or as you normally would. And if you'd normally wear makeup, still do as this will keep a feeling of normality, which is important during these strange times. For people struggling with mental health issues, it will always be a battle, but the important thing is to stay strong and know there are people whose job it is to help you and support you through these difficult times. For elderly citizens, it is more important to limit journeys as they are more vulnerable. This can cause them to feel very isolated, although there is still ways to keep in contact with family, for example, FaceTime and calling them. If possible, you could ask your neighbour to do your shopping, just a thought to consider. Overall, we think the best way to overcome the isolation during these strange times 
is to stay in contact with family and friends if possible and if you need help or support there are many services out there dedicated to making you feel more reassured. We are positive that we can get through this together and battle the effects that coronavirus has kindly had an effect on our lives.